Hello, everybody. What's going on? Just checking, checking. So, tuning in here. I'm showing you in a minute where I'm tuning in from. Let me get the settings right. Yes. Okay, awesome. So, we've got the first people tuning in. If you're watching live, give me a hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. Before we dive in, so as this, the headline already suggests, um, here are some reasons. Hi, Francisco, good to have you here. Some epic reasons uh, why you can't afford to miss out on the online course or coaching train in 2022. I've been sitting here for a little bit watching the kids uh, swim. I'm here in Bali. They're packing up now. So uh, it's my turn in the moment to jump in the pool, which is awesome. And uh, while I was looking at them, I was creating uh, a list of it. just put, put together a few reasons why people really should jump on that train today. Okay, so um, that's what I'm going to share with you now. Okay, let me just make sure everything is all right. Okay, so happy new year, everyone. Anyways, I don't think I've come on live since the new year, so that's um, there's that. I hope you you will have a prosperous and a productive and an amazing year ahead, and you will reach all your goals and dreams. I really, really hope you will. Uh, one amazing thing what you could do is uh, create a vision board and put all your things on it and uh, put it as a background background picture on your phone so you look look at it every single day and it goes automatically into your subconscious okay. here we go it's no secret that um, that the online education industry is poised to be a 375 billion dollar industry by 2025 okay this prediction came out before corona 20 what 2020 2019 when was that when was it again uh, my days time flies okay but anyway since obviously corona hit uh, this this number has skyrocketed even more okay and if you haven't jumped on that train just yet if you have not managed to move your business online like this is right now is the time to do that technology is evolving so fast like if you haven't managed to get your business online or start a business online if you don't have a business that's totally cool at least start one online on the internet right here's the thing technology has evolved so fast and so quickly that we already so far ahead with blockchain and everything which i'm even not even able to explain about blockchain right but that comparison should already show you that the future is online and if you haven't moved online yet like that is the time in 2022 to just really focus on that thing and move your business online it also takes off the limits of your like for example of your hours anyway right that's another one if you are a service provider any type of service provider doesn't matter what you do if you do coaching consulting if you have done for you services um it takes off the the limits of your hours right so i mean we've all been there right we've all run so not all but many people have tried in the industry have tried to run services before and it's just not a scalable business right you just have this many hours in your day and then you hit the limit then you hire people then they hit the limits right it's just not scalable and eventually it will just burn you out and you can't serve as many people as you actually can with an online course obviously right makes total sense doesn't it hi rasmus nice to have you here so not only that so not only will it take the limits of your hours it will also take the limits of the spaces for example right if you had a yoga studio before physically in some location somewhere you could only fit this many people into your yoga studio 30 40 people depending on the size right and then you're maxed what are you going to do after that you can't take more people you need to tell them to go away come back later come back an hour later or maybe even another day if you if, if the lessons have already finished right now if you move your yoga lessons for example online all you gotta do is upgrade your zoom membership and that's it right that's really the easiest way and you have the lower overhead as well now all of a sudden you don't need to think about 
the rent anymore. All of a sudden, you don't need to worry about parking space anymore. Where do all these people park when they travel? All of a sudden, you don't need to worry about insurance anymore. You don't need to have staff who clean the rooms. All of these kind of things, right? So I'm not saying you should close down your yoga studio and then completely move online. If you have one, why not keep it running, but also offer online classes for people who are not particular, not in your in your uh, village or in your city or in your town, right? Or maybe if people are in your village, in your city, in your town, and they just really don't want to take the drive, and they just want to join your classes, whatever kind of classes that is, right? And they want to just do that from home, then just give them the opportunity to do that. You can even just put up the laptop while you are doing live other classes. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, recorded things. It can also be live, which is also very, very amazing, right? I know people who... Um, this is very uh, very different to the to, to the normal businesses, right? It's very niche and it's very cool though. I know people who, who teach uh, how to do rollerblades, how to, to run rollerblades online. And they used to have a studio as well and they needed to be creative once COVID hit and they completely moved it online and they have been so successful. They've been more successful than they could ever wish for uh, with that business online because of all these reasons which I've just said, right? So there's just a few things, but I have to say many, many more things about that. Um, an online business is obviously, obviously pandemic proof. It's obviously a natural disaster proof and you're going to be location independent. Okay. So, I mean, I don't need to say much more about pandemic stuff. Uh, maybe a little bit about natural disasters. I used to run a service-based business before. Uh, uh, a few actually and one here in Bali and <laughs> and it was you know always something like maybe the volcano is erupting or a tsunami warning no tsunami not here but somewhere else was a tsunami warning uh, and all of these things right or wildfires and all of that kind of crap like you have to deal with so much stuff uh, running like a location dependent business which it just did my head in it just literally did my head in it was just absolute from one burnout into the other and it was just crazy and uh Actually, during one during one of my uh, farm trips, I did like a scuba dive trip around Com uh, Komodo, which is like a, a very famous national park for scuba divers in Indonesia. And uh, because many different reasons, uh, I got caught into in, in a current where I nearly died. So that was a very powerful experience to me to just finally say, no, thank you very much. I'm going for something a lot easier, which then turned out to be uh, my online business, right? We had other online businesses before, so I knew what to do and things like that. But that was like the the triggering moment for me when I said, "Fuck this! I can I can do better. I can do better and easier than this. My life is my time is too precious to um, deal with all of that crap all the time. Specifically in a third world country, right, where expectations are different, mentalities are different, uh, and so on, right? So maybe you don't have these kind of challenges, but maybe you have other challenges in your business." Um, let me know in the comments below if there are any, any challenges like that. But what I was trying to say is um, going back to pandemic proof, um, uh, dis natural disaster proof, right? There's like outside, fo outside forces which you don't have control over. And then, um, oh, location independent was the other one, obviously, right? I mean, that is also like a very, a very attractive thing. Digital nomads like to say all the time, yeah, I'll pull up my laptop next to the beach or next to the pool and things like that. So why not, right? Other people bitch about it. Um, how oh, this is not the truth and whatever. I can tell you that is the truth for me every single day. <laughs> so uh, I don't sit at the beach, no, because I just find that very uncomfortable and annoying. I just generally don't sit at the beach anyway with or without laptop because I generally find that annoying. Um, but if you love that you can just absolutely do that right or in Bali for example if you get a villa you just sit next to the pool or look at the pool or whatever you want right and uh, it's just because you can't get barely can get a house without a pool anyways it's just a lifestyle it's very different in different countries right and if that's something you desire then it's really really time for you to get on that online course slash coaching train okay um, it's just easy and even if it's not then that's fine too if you just want to work from home from your PJs uh, or even naked like most of us do anyway come on let's face it <laughs> um, and just spend more time with your family at home or with your dogs like I like to do right I just love to be at home all day long unless I go to places like this 
Like this is the gym where I'm at and this is just amazing to do some laps. That's what I do to just do my exercise and kind of like a bit meditation for me because it's a lot of breathing and stuff. But anyway, and you just go and do it, right? You just go and do whatever you want all day long. If you want to work, great, you work. If you don't want to work, this place is five minutes down the road from me, right? So if you want to work from home, you've got your kids, your homeschool, whatever it is, like it's just so much easier, right? I could never imagine to, and I have been in nine to fives before. This is not foreign foreign land for me. Like I, I have the experiences in many different jobs and things like that from both ends. So I cannot imagine giving up that kind of lifestyle ever again to be somewhere else for eight, nine hours let's say nine with lunchtime, right? Plus maybe an hour drive back and forth. Nine hours, 10 hours. Now we're at 10, 11 hours. I did that in London. Uh, it worked in real estate and in the city, right? And I lived a little bit outside of the city because that's just how it was. And uh, in zone six, I had to get to zone number one. I think it was one or two. But anyway, if you know London, it's, uh, it's a bit of... It's, yes, we have great infrastructure when it comes to like trains and things, but everyone wants to use the train and things. So it's really unpleasant. It's a really unpleasant ride to be stuck like sardines basically in the tube. It's, it's, it's just not pleasant. And it took me like uh, two hours in the morning to get there, two hours in the evening to get back. And then hardcore 10 hour days, hardcore full on lead generation for real estate and then selling, right? Uh, Maybe, I think we had like 30 minute break or something something crazy like that um, anyway I did enjoy that at the time but looking back at it because I like to work I like to do I like work and I usually you know like the work I do <laughs> and that's what I liked there before as well until until a certain point of course and then uh, yeah I, looking back at all of this comparing how much less work I do for myself with less working hours, making much more money and having less stress. I'm not saying being an entrepreneur is, is not stressful. It's fucking stressful sometimes because you're going, you are responsible for all you, for your things, right? Like that invisible pressure is obviously there, but it's amazing to just look back and have both, both things in comparison. Like my boss was able to, or any, any of your bosses is able to fire you in every minute. You don't have power over that. It's not a secure thing, right? Many people say like, oh, you get the paycheck. Yeah, you get a paycheck of what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten grand maybe, right? If you have a high paid job, great, amazing. How many more hours do you need to work for that? And how much power do you have actually in order to stay in that company, right? If, if you get sick or if anything else happens to you, how fast will your boss actually replace you, right? In a minute, in a minute they will. Okay, and that is just not security for me. Like, what I I like to think is like, I have my own power, I have my own, I dedicate how the day is gonna go, I dedicate how much money is gonna come in, and I dedicate my life. Like, I, I'm the boss of my, my life, and, and I like it that way, right? I don't like someone else to rule over my hours. I don't like someone else to make the schedule for me. It's just not what fits into my reality anymore. And if that's something that doesn't fit into your reality anymore, because look at all these nurses, for example, right? Isn't it absolutely crazy? So many nurses, or not just nurses, I think there's many, many other professions as well. If you don't get the shot, then uh, you'd be fired. Now, how fucking crazy is that? Like, nobody's going to tell me ever what I'm going to put into my body. Ever. Right? For example, or anything like that. If you're sick and tired of that, I would encourage you to get into into the into the online business. Like, honestly, it is... It is it is, this is not 2019 anymore, guys. <laughs> it's not 2019 anymore. You, you need to think ahead. You need to get on that train and, and you need to get, get stuff done. I'm not saying you need to go and, and, and quit your 9 to 5 if you're still on it and you're still enjoying that. But having that backup, having that security uh, is, is, is priceless. It's priceless. Hi, Carrie. How are you?
It's absolutely priceless. And then what if, if your job, if you lose your job, what if your hus husband fires your husband? <laughs> if your job, if your, I'm so distracted by these kids. If your, uh, what is it, employee uh, fires you, so what? Nothing, right? You've got a backup. You've got passive money coming in if you've set it up in the right, right way, right? If you, if, you, if you do it the proper way. Things like that. Like that is like really uh, uh, so, so, so important for everyone. It's like don't don't be that person who just follows instructions blindly unless you're in my program of course <laughs> you should totally follow my instructions uh, because it's way all good obviously all right so yeah i i don't know how some people live like that um to to know to not know what's going to happen tomorrow uh so yeah that's that's just a few things why i think you can't afford to to not jump on that train anymore like it's time now the best time was yesterday and the best time uh, the best time was yesterday and the next time is today or oh, whatever you know whatever they say i'm sure there was something else i wanted to say let me just real quick check my notes stay tuned yes i've got something else to say I, I am not sure if I'm still live. I'll just bubble on and then um, check it later. Uh, if you already have an existing business, having an online course in the marketplace is an amazing lead generation tool for you to generate more leads. Huh? Um, it, it positions you automatically as an authority in this space. People will perceive you much more as an authority if you have something like that on offer, right? So an online course gives your people uh, the opportunity gives you the opportunity to create that no like and trust factor so people buy from people who they know like and trust right and relate as I heard recently no like trust and relate to right and and uh, an online course gives you the chance to create that no like and trust factor a lot faster than any advertisement any ebook or anything like that ever could um, so that's definitely something to keep in mind and if you then you can you've got the easiest time to upsell from there into your higher ticket offer no matter if that is deeper uh, more coaching into like a deeper transformation like for example uh for me one of my challenges mini courses is get your course idea kick started which i would like to invite you to by the way click the link somewhere on this around this video and sign up for that it's free currently um that's free right and then my next my next program is five figure course launch which is like a two months program low ticket item uh, which which uh, people go through and learn how to launch their first or next uh, online course or coaching program online organically and hit five figures and then if people want to go more deep in that i can upsell them into my high ticket offer which is sort of programs which helps where i help them to get to a consistent five figure month organically as well all organic stuff right and then later on we can add ads um, if if they if they then hit uh, five figure months organically and um, yeah easy uh, so same for you right no matter if it's coaching or if it's done for you services if you run an ads agency if you if you're a designer or anything like that right you will have an easy time hi Suman how are you you will have a very easy time to upsell uh, from those courses because people. Got, have gotten the opportunity to to know like and trust you and but also to understand if you know your thing right and also to to maybe get a mini transformation out of the thing they studied with you right now so it's an amazing way to um to create that relationship and to generate more profits on your end and yeah it's an amazing lead generation tool as well i think i've mentioned so many things right now that it's good for now what do you think <laughs> there's so many people watching I, I don't see much here because i'm tuning in from the pool but uh it's for me time to get in that pool as well because it's really hot now and i need to put my head under water so that's exactly what i feel like right now <laughs> and uh yeah so again um oh yeah we run a free challenge uh in about a week or two the details are on this video click somewhere on this video and sign up for it it's it's free at the moment next time we run it i'll probably charge for it because it's too good it's too good to be true it's too good to be free but yeah this is your chance to jump onto the um, online course or coaching train and that could be an amazing first step into the right direction if you wanted to do that and if you wanted to nail on your course idea that's what we're going to do we're going to figure out your five-figure course idea if you don't know your niche yet right 
I will show you how to find your niche, how to brainstorm all your ideas and then uh, pick the one which will sell. So we do different strategies uh, where we find out if it's a profitable idea. So that's what we're going to do. And then after that, we will uh, figure out your dream student. Who do you want to really serve? Who do you like? Who can pay for your services? And do you, do you have the knowledge to teach them, right? And then we talk about the one-liner. That's something I teach you. How can you position yourself in the market as the expert in specifically that field? Bit of copywriting, bit of positioning, all of that good stuff. And then the highlight of this challenge will actually be um, five-figure course launch. So we will map out the exact strategy. I will give you the exact steps, what you need to take uh, in order to, to hit your first five-figure launch. So that's... Uh, that's probably the most popular class. It always is. Most people show up for that. And yeah, I would love to invite you. Come along. Um, and yeah, say hi. Don't be shy. Say me in the in the comments below if you want to join. And I will drop the, the, the link. I will reach out and give you the link. Uh, after I come back from the swimming pool, all right? That's it from me. Peace out. And do not miss out on that online course and coaching train. Okay, bye.